But right now, it is time because there are some legal things in the news, as there always seem to be. It's time to check in with the dense beard of justice, my personal injury attorney, Sweet James Bergener, at 800 881 2021. And if insurance company has given you the business, give it to him right back. In the form of a beard dense enough to be a push broom, but nice and sweet enough to own a multitude of sports cars. Sweet James Bergener. Order in the court. Order in the court. It's time for Justice with Sweet James. Sweet James! How are you, brother? Petros! Money, how are you? Hello, James. Everything's going great over here. We have a a lot of topics to get into. We got this Jameis Winston thing. We got the NFL. That's great, P. But of course, before we get to any of that, James, uh, I know because I work with him. I sit across from him. I am eight feet from him right now. We got to think about the Venice Beach Neighborhood Council. Before we get to boobies. (laughs) This is the uh, thing about the Venice Beach. (laughs) I am interested in the current state of affairs regarding my partner, Petros Papadakis, and his, I don't know, perhaps visit to the brig. What's going on? Is he going to the calaboose or what? The, the brig, the bar in Venice Beach? Because that gets us to this topic. Venice Beach. No, made- no, no, no. I am talking about British slang for the hoosgow. I am talking about <laughs> the hole, the tank, the ward, and whether or not he's headed there. All right. Well, I got a speeding ticket a while back that Sweet James <laughs> right. looked into, and then yeah. uh, he found a seatbelt ticket. That I got during the Papadakis hat trick, which is no yeah. seatbelt, uh, phone to the dome, uh, yeah. solo on the carpool lane. Yep. I, I took care of the phone to the dome, solo on the carpool did lane. Did not take care of. Yeah. Click it or ticket. Yeah, but if I'm he a goalie, not. this is this if is I'm a goalie, that's one goal that got through. I blocked two other ones. That's hey, a good ratio. You lose one nothing, you still lose. Yeah, but I got an offense, and it's called Sweet James Burger. That's right. Yeah, Sweet it's James. It's happening. Although it's happening. during the break, you know, because these things often happen on the show. You know, right. it's like a joke, but then everybody just bugs me so much about it. I, I get upset because I'm not a well person and I'm not well balanced. And everybody likes to take advantage of that. Everybody on the Textoso line, my partner over here, <laughs> Ronnie. I'm just looking for an update. Yeah. And I don't believe we've had one. Of course. Every Matt. time he comes on, he keeps putting it off, putting it off, and I just assume oh, sooner or later. Money, yeah. you are not listening. We've got a hearing the end of this month here oh. for his 2005. Push him back. Push him back. <laughs> we are going to clear back. up Ten his years, 2005 huh? seatbelt Ten issue. years ago. You're fine, Pete. When, You're uh, fine. Yeah, you hear that? Did you hear his deep I, voice, sweet James Bergener? That. The That's dense right. beard of justice saying, I'm fine, makes me feel good. Yeah, well, when good. Officer Pete and I are having a nice beer at the shortstop there and you're in the keep, we'll see who's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take the guy that arrested me and put me in jail out for a beer, Matt? Just, just for closure. In the key? Just for closure. <laughs> I do believe we have some uh, judicial topics to get to. We have uh, wrapped this uh, up. It's great to have a beer with you, officer. You know, Petros is in jail. I'm here at the shortstop. You're here. We're all here. That is a... That is a close, and then I've been trying to be calling, collect, and the phone would just be ringing in Matt's pocket. What an, a- what an a-hole. And you know, you're no better, sweet James. You've let this thing string out. You keep pushing back these hearings. Can't we just put this thing to bed? All right. I'm pushing. I'm what? pushing. I'm at the court schedule. This is as early as I get in. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about this Venice Beach thing, because I am interested in the Venice Beach Neighborhood Council seeking topless sunbathing for women. I guess they said, hey, they do it in Venice, Italy. Why can't we do it here in Venice Beach? There is a nudie beach on the backside of Rancho Palos Verdes that is well known as a n- oh. nudie beach. But you got to go down a hill and all that. Venice, right. man, it's right there. You got the boardwalk and they want to see. But look, if I'm walking on the beach and my kid sees some errant boobies and then all of a sudden he becomes some kind of a uh, Booby addict. <laughs> That's what it's going to take? You know, yeah. My son can't become a booby addict. Right. What if my son be- becomes just some kind of boob-crazed maniac because he saw some boobs. He won't shut up about the boobs. He becomes some kind of booby scooby, and I don't have I don't have any alternative but to sue the beach for exposing my son to something that disturbed him and turned him into a, a booby bandit. What do, you got? <laughs> what do you got on that, sweet James? A booby bandit. I don't want my son to become a booby bandit, so I can't take my kids to Venice Beach. Or are they going to rectify this? Look, Pete, morality and legality are different. So, I mean, well, I like here that. Venice Venice approved this legislation, but the the LA LA City still has to approve it. They still have the final say on what's going to happen in Venice Beach. You know, Pete, I I've heard that the people at those beaches 
are the people you don't want to see at those beaches. Uh, right? no, I don't know, sweet James. I mean, they're well, talking about Venice, Italy. I mean, you know. You go yeah. to Venice, Italy, you want to see those people. Yeah, like some, nice, sure. per- some nice perky mm-hmm. boobs out there. What about Greece? I know you you've been to Greece many them. times, Pete. I've seen a lot of boobs Boobies in out Greece. there. Yeah, I've seen a lot of them. You uh, have you taken your boy out to Greece? Has he been there? Uh, no, he's not. Well, that's coming. Oh. But that's different, you know. It'll think about how, how easy it'll be to explain the boobs to him when you get to Greece, having just tasted a teeny a teeny morsel of them with that single <laughs> strip of beach that nobody, by the way, goes to. They do not put their feet in the sand at Venice Beach. Oh, Max. So what's what what is the deal? I mean, can people take their tops off at some of these spots and not worry about it? L.A. County has a nudity law where you cannot be topless. Now, New York City, if you're a woman, you can take your top off and walk around, no problem. But yeah. L.A. County. No, there is a anti-nudity law where you cannot be topless. So this is one of those, uh, this is not a nude beach, wink, wink sort of things. Nice. I like your winking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, because it's radio, you have to say it, which is awesome. Winking at those topless ladies. Hey, wink, wink. Exactly. (laughs) Or they might be winking at you, you know what I'm saying? Anybody looking for... In, yeah, exactly. Anybody looking Major for a family-friendly, G-rated <laughs> beach can't go to can't go to Venice. Major no, League no, 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 no. coming to Venice yeah. Beach. It, it was such a great beach to take your young children to already. Yeah, right? yeah. Venice yeah. Beach. The weed doctor cards flying around <laughs> yeah. out there. That's what I want my kid involved in. All right, last thing for you, James. Uh, Jameis Winston, Draft Academy, a show on the Evil Four Letter, uh, talking with Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. He doesn't mean that's the last thing because he's going to go back with Probably. some word about I got some jail. More. Yeah, that's it's of not the last thing. You're going to be residing at Cooler. We're going to have to get to it. <laughs> Cooler. But uh, yeah, Jameis great. Winston talked about stealing the crab leg, shoplifting, and he mentioned me and a dude. It was his birthday. We bought a cake, and the guy at the public said, anytime you guys come back, anything you want, it's all good. Is that is that a good defense that an employee of the store? Hey man, he works there. He told me it's all good. Oh, you know what though? I I'm 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 sure that Jameis Winston is not the first NFL or football player to get crabs from a fan. I'm just Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh you got the, you got the, <laughs> all that booby talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got you got it, sweet James. You got it in there. You know, but way look, to go. He, he 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 got counseled by the finest legal minds in Florida. For him to say that he accepted the gift though would have been an NCAA violation. Ooh. So he took the charge of shoplifting and now he comes back and it's revisionist history here. So it's uh, it's just dirty all over. Look, really, they were free it? crab legs. It's not that big of a deal. Just crab. <laughs> my, my, my thing about Jameis Winston is like, look, the crab legs, not really what you need to concentrate right. on. Probably the rape allegation. What? Yeah, I know. There's a lot of smoke with this the guy. The crab legs are one team, thing. The rape yeah. allegation to me right. is, There's is a the ton real of stuff red there. flag. Uh, we prefer to call it the off-the-field issue. Yes. I'm oh. sorry. That's what we like to do when Jameis is sitting with us right across. with To the <laughs> off-the-field <laughs> issue. That you may have had with a co-ed at Florida State. How has that taught you mm, and shaped yikes. you as a man? Sweet James Bergener is our personal injury attorney. 800-881-2021 or sweetjames.com or at Sweet James on Twitter. You're the best, Sweet James. And of course, no, so uh, he is or he fantastic. isn't going to reform school. Let's... Uh, I don't know here. We're going to find out here later right. this month. I like that one. All right. What do you mean You're you fine. don't know? What do you mean you don't You're know? You're fine, Pete. Well, that's not what I heard. Problem. Interview was over when he said we'll find out later this month. <laughs> that's the end of that. Well, Officer Peterson, I'd like to raise the glass that this whole thing is wrapped up and justice has just, been done. Just want to put it behind us. Can I interest you in a ride on the Goodyear blimp, Mr. Peterson, officer? <laughs> Taking a ride above Southern California because you can bid right now at am570lasports.com with the keyword red cross. You fly over the pin. <laughs> that's right. Oh, over the pen. AM 570. We love your